Hi guys, Lunar here, and welcome back to another Starfield Guide video. Today we have a secret armor to collect, the Old Earth Armor, and this is a reward for collecting all 13 snow globes. Now while I've seen a bunch of videos and articles about the snow globes, none of them have covered all 13, with no mention of the secret armor you get as a reward, but I will go over them for you. Now as I found out, this is missable as one of the snow globes. Books, which are the things you need to find in order to mark them on the map, can be missed, and so I had to replay the entire first 10 hours of the campaign yesterday just to make this video, but hopefully that means you guys won't have to. Let's jump into it. You need to play the story campaign until you reach the Earth during the Unearthed mission, and while you can come here earlier, you will not be able to gain access to the NASA facility, which is where three of the snow globes are tied to. So enter the NASA facility and take the elevator down into the NASA museum, First, interact with the Opportunity Rover to show the location of another snow globe, which we will get soon. Then from here, head up the stairs and just on a bench on the left is your first and very easy to miss snow globe. From here, you're going to follow the quest further into the facility and your next snow globe is going to be here. This one is much easier to get because it's next to a locked door and the snow globe is on a desk next to some old computers where you unlock the door. Next you have your opportunity snow globe marked for you so you can head there and the snow globe is just sitting on top of the Mars rover. So now those are out of the way, the next nine are all found on Earth, but require you to read a book that will mark the snow globe locations for you, and we'll start with the Burj Khalifa, as this is the missable one. And if you miss this, you will not get your armor, and there's no way to go back unless you reload an old save or enter into New Game Plus. To mark the Burj Khalifa, players must obtain a copy of the book Race to the Heavens. The book can only be found inside the Siren of the Stars, which is a massive luxury liner ship, and gaining access can only be done via the Crimson Fleet faction mission called Breaking the Bank. Once inside the ship, you can find the book inside one of the luxury rooms, room number 5, and the book can be found just on a desk inside the room. And once you pick it up, all you have to do is travel to the Burj Khalifa, and your snow globe is already marked for you. But yeah, make sure you pick this one up when you're doing the Crimson Fleet faction mission, or else you will not get your armor. Next we have the Pyramids of Giza, and this is probably one of the best looking landmarks you can find a snow globe, and its corresponding book is very much easy to get. You can pick this up at the bookstore in Aquila City. And the book is called The Ancient Civilization of Egypt, and this will unlock your Pyramids snow globe. Now before you head to it, the next snow globe is also found at the Aquila City bookstore. It's possible you found this somewhere else, but if you haven't, then you can pick it up here, and that is Oliver Twist. This will mark the snow globe location of the Shard in London, and now you can head there to get your snow globe. The Empire State Building in New York is found using a book called Our Lost Heritage. This can be found inside the Mast Building in New Atlantis. Take the elevator up to the central command and make your way over to the main office and here you'll be able to steal the book off of the desk but you will have to sneak in order to do this as it does count as stealing. Although I think if you do get caught it will still mark it on the map for you. Then head to the Empire State Building to get your snow globe. To find Starfield's LA-inspired snow globe, the US Bank Tower, you will need to find a book titled Hope Family Tree, and you get this by going to the office of Ron Hope, the CEO of Hope Tech in the Valo system. Now, if you've done certain missions for this, then his office can be locked, but the easiest way to get here instead is to go to the back and out to the factory floor, and you can take the green stairs and walkways up to his back entrance of his living quarters, and you can find the book on his desk.
Next we have the St. Louis Gateway Arch and obtaining the Snow Globes book, which is called The Price of Destiny, will require a bit of pickpocketing. Firstly, head to Neon and search for a man named Benjamin Bay, who owns Neon City, and he is usually located in the nightclub on the next floor up using the elevator, where you will need to pickpocket him to steal his penthouse key. To find his penthouse, simply leave the club and make a left, and there's an elevator here where you can use the key to access his penthouse, and the book is located on his desk, and you can head to St. Louis to get your snow globe. The Osaka landmark can be revealed by reading the book Diary of Kyosuke Nagata, and this one will require you to start the Crimson Fleet faction missions, because the book is located in Delgado's living quarters inside of the key. To get the Hong Kong Commerce Centre Snow Globe, you need to find Maurice Leon's journal. And to get this, all you need to do is head to New Homestead, which is on Siren's Moon Titan, and the journal will be resting on a shelf just to the right of the staircase next to the museum. To find Shanghai Tower Snow Globe, you need to get the book Essentials of Modern Macroeconomics, and getting your hands on this is pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the planet Prima 2, inside of the Prima system, and you can dock with the unidentified ship. I won't go into details of the ship, as it's fun to find out all the stuff on your own, but you're going to head to the very top floor, and you will find the classroom, where you can get the book inside next to the whiteboard. So now we have all of Earth landmarks, we just have one left to do, and that is the Apollo moon landing. Thankfully, obtaining this is easy, all you have to do is head to Mateo's room in the lodge to find Sir Livingston's second journal, and that will mark the Apollo moon landing site for you, and you will get your snow globe. So there we have it, all 13 snow globes and how to get them, which will reward you with the old Earth armor, and it's a decent armor with maybe 3rd or 4th best damage resistance of the unique armor sets. It also looks pretty good and goes with the old Earth weapons pretty well, but the snow globes, they are just for show now, and you can put them in your house, although the 13 of them don't fit into one display case for some reason. But guys, like and subscribe for more Starfield guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.